My name is Corey Davis. I am the executive director of OC Global here at Odessa College, our online college. And I'm also one of the members of the 30 for 30 Fitness Committee. And each year, this is our fourth year of 30 for 30. Each year, we try to bring you something a little bit different in terms of our e-newsletter. This year, we will actually be using Facebook as one of our dominant uh, modes of communicating with you. And we hope that to hear from you how your progress is going with 30 for 30. This whole video series will be spotlighting some of the group uh, exercises that we have here at OC as a way of getting you to think uh, differently in terms of the kinds of exercises you do. Group exercises are uh, very popular these days, um, and not just the kind of aerobics you used to see in the 80s, but there's a whole wide range of different kinds of group exercises. Today we're going to be looking at kettlebell. Kettlebell is uh, a very effective um, workout program. It doesn't look it when you first look at the bell, but you'll be surprised how, <laughs> how tired you are at the end. It's actually one of my favorite types of workout. And so what I'm doing through the whole video series is I'm going to be going to very different group exercises. There's an assumption, I think, when people look at a certain body type that, oh, they can do any kind of exercise. And uh, I'm having weight lifted for 21 years. The hardest exercise I've ever done was Pilates. <laughs> and I almost didn't go back, and I think yoga is right up there uh, with Pilates. And so there's a misconception about uh, when you look at someone, wh what they can actually do. You will see that some of the workouts in here, as well as some of the other group exercises we'll look at, are just as strenuous, in some cases more, than you would have with the traditional um, weightlifting program. So we want you to think outside the box of what exercise looks like. And today we're going to start with uh, kettlebell. Hello, my name is Caleb Dopp. I'm a personal trainer. I've been doing it for a little over 12 years total. I have eight years experience with kettlebells. I learned kettlebells originally in Tokyo, Japan and later I got to train in Moscow, Russia. <clears throat> I work out of Southwest Ragaball and Fitness and out of here OC College. I'd like to demonstrate a kettlebell swing. There's two important points to remember. We can, we can do it two wrong ways. We can lean in with our back and we can be apprehensive and afraid to come back as if we're sitting in a chair and we can come on our toes. I tell my clients all the time, Michael Jackson is dead. Leave that alone. We'll stay on our heels. We'll rotate the weight back. As we let the weight come forward, we're going to capitalize on this movement. We're going to come up with our legs. If you look at the kettlebell, it looks like a child is on a swing. That's a proper kettlebell swing. Okay, another exercise I'd like to demonstrate is the kettlebell clean and press. We're going to lean the weight back as if we're swinging. We're going to come up and rotate that weight around our forearm, so that way it's not crashing into our forearm. From here, this is the rack position, we are going to press. Now notice this is not a bodybuilder movement, we're not making a big circle. We're actually not isolating one muscle, we're using our triceps as well as all three heads of the shoulder. So it's straight from the body. We're bringing it down with our lat, as a clean and press. Now I'm going to do a kettlebell combination. Now I'm going to demonstrate a Turkish get up. This one we start on the floor. One arm is up, that leg is up as well. So the arm and, near, arm and leg near each other. From here we have two options on coming up. We can come straight up with our abs, right to this point, or we can use our free arm as an assistant. 
We roll over to the forearm. We come up and brace close to the body. From here, we're going to use our bracing arm and our bracing leg to get our sliding leg behind us. So we're going to pick up. We're going to rotate back. Make sure that our toes are on the floor. We're not flat, damaging our ankle. Straighten up. Stand up. Keep your abs tense. Come back down, toes, knee, brace, kick out. From here, we lower with our abs. And that is a Turkish get up. All right, so we'll start with the round the body exercises just to get blood in the arms. So we're just gonna pass it, literally as the name suggests, around the body. Try to get at least 15 passes before you switch and go in the other direction. You don't have to throw it, you're just handing it from one hand to the other. All right, let's go the other direction. Uh -huh. Challenge a little bit of coordination there. Love the class, all women. All I hear is nails. It's all right. Okay. Now we'll set it down. Okay. Now we're just going to do five body weight squats. I want to get blood in all the muscles before we begin. So down, that's all right. Down two. Three. Stay on your heels, you're all right. On the heels? Uh-huh. One more. All right. Not bad, not bad. It's just a warm-up. Okay. Now we're going to start with the kettlebell swing. Very simple. Since you guys have never probably seen kettlebell training, it's all right. Okay, you're going to start down and back. So you're going to get into a squat. You're going to rotate the weight back. Okay, you need to go wider with your stance. Let's try to be at least shoulder width, if not a little wider. There you go. The reason why we rotate the weight back is we're going to let it come forward as we come up. So come back down and come up. Let it fall back. Think about a kid on a swing. We're just, let it swing back. Back, snap up. Think about your heels. Put your toes up. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now we're going to have to watch the nails. We'll go ahead and do half eights. They require a little bit of uh, concentration. <laughs> Okay, so let's, I'm assuming everybody, or almost everybody is right-handed. No. no, I'm a left. Alrighty. Okay, we'll, we'll just start with it in the right hand. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Right hand, we're going to do a half eight. So we're going we're gonna to go down behind the leg and come up. This? Yeah, but stop it over here away from your face. See how I stopped it with my free hand? Yeah. Okay. So you just need to go like that. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Hey, so you got this one. <laughs> All right. See my more advanced students? No problem. Okay, easy way to remember. How are you doing, Lisa? There's a 10 pound right there with your name on it. See the second row? The only one left? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's, it's very easy. We'll start again. Starting right hand, right? Right hand, okay, no big deal. You have it in the right hand. Whatever hand has it, we're always going down the middle and behind the opposite leg. So if we got it in our right, we're going to go behind the left. Does it matter? No. You want to go wide enough where you got room? Oh, okay. You make the switch, take your time with that. Where I want you to explode is coming up. 
That way you don't use your back. Okay. It's really easy to hurt your back. Okay. Down, up. Remember, it's just a half eight. Remember, a full eight would be this business. Yeah. We're going to cheat. We're going to make a half eight. We're going to come up. Down, come up. Hey, why don't you go a little wider? That looks uncomfortable. Much, much better. Doing good. I have no idea where you're at, but that's okay. I have to do left hand. I can't do that. It's okay. Okay. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Whichever hand you want to start with is fine. Just remember, if it's in the left hand, it's always going to go behind the right leg. Make that switch. You guys can stop. That's fine. This is the exciting part about beginners. <laughs> All right, now we'll do some varying on the kettlebell swing since it was a little bit problematic. We got a light enough one. We're going to do that, actually. We're going to do alternating kettlebell swings. What that means is, is we're going to swing it up with one hand. We're going to release and grab it with the other. We're not throwing it up and catching it. I do not want this floor to get damaged. <sighs> so remember, it's just hand. Now down the middle, down the middle, just like a regular swing. We're going to try just when you hand it from one to the other, that is a rep. So it's like one, two, three, four. Good. Remember that hit? We need aggressive hips. Excellent. Heels, heels, heels. You can have a slight bend in your arms. All right. Not bad at all. Everybody's breathing a little bit, hopefully. <laughs> We're doing excellent. All right. We're going to do a kettlebell clean. A lot of beginners don't do this right. All it is is it's a more proficient way. Instead of curling the weight up into the rack, we're going to swing it. An easy way to accomplish this, when you start with it, put your thumb on top. When you come down, you're going to rotate your thumb where it's pointing behind you. As you're coming up, you're catching it, opening your hand, and meeting the kettlebell with your forearm. Okay, not letting the kettlebell meet your forearm. It hurts. Let's try just 10 aside. We ready? So you can hold it like that. Twist. And keep it in close. It stays right here. Elbow tucked in. So swing it back. I don't know if you see that. I lost count because everybody's off. Okay, let's go to the other side. You ready? Remember, point the thumb back, twist, and come up. Doing all right, Corey? Doing good, doing good. Not bad. Bend more at the legs. Save your poor back. You're getting it, Lisa. You're getting it. You're doing excellent. All right. 